Hey everybody, Jay Barino here and welcome back. It's Rise of the Lich King Reanimated, created by Armelier. It's a custom campaign for Warcraft 3. We're on to Chapter 4, The Fall of Ironforge. Now when I played the original version of this many, many years ago, I never actually was able to beat The Fall of Ironforge without using cheats. So we're gonna get some Jabovenge today. To be fair, Armelier seems to have rebuilt most of these maps pretty much from the ground up, so I'm gonna guess this one will be a lot more user-friendly, but we'll count to that because I am still kind of sick. So... Map got easier. I'm going to be performing even worse than usual. <laughs> Kalthazad and Veramothers have established a base in the mountains of Cosmodon, not far from the Dwarven capital. They're waiting for their scouts' reports to prepare for their attack. Tip! Use your shades quickly before the dwarves learn how to detect them. And tip two, don't leave your bases or your heroes undefended. The dwarves will attack your weak points. Our foothold is secure, Lich. I'm looking forward to killing the dwarves. Don't underestimate them, Dreadlord. Even if they're less numerous than the humans, they're fierce enemies. Without their help, the humans wouldn't have prevailed against the Horde in the Second War. And today we're attacking their capital. Ironforge was built several centuries ago on the mountain itself, and it's never been taken. Before choosing a strategy for the assaults, we have to wait for more information from our scouts. Speak of the Legion, here they are. So, what are the Dwarven defenses? I mean, we can kind of see them in the background. They have two bases in the area, one protecting the city gate, the other one to the northeast. The main road is heavily fortified with towers and mines. Is there another way to gain access to the city? Yes, Master, we can use a small road to the south to bypass the main defenses. However, there are no passes to the northeast. We should avoid the main road. That's where they're expecting us. The south pass will be useful. And we also have our flying transports. Kalthazad's glowing eyes are a little spooky. Alright, we got Veramathras and Kalthazad. One level of Vampiric Aura, one level Howl of Terror, and the rest into Reign of Fire sounds good. Frost Nova, pretty much exclusively. Maybe one level Dark Ritual. One level Frost Armor. What was that on Veramathras? Only the Lich King knows what this does to Veramathras. Interesting. Find another way into the enemy base. Start with a good amount of ghouls. Uh, okay, that's that's cool. Um, honestly, just go straight to Black Citadel. And what do we need to get a little further in? Probably a slaughterhouse here pretty soon. Getting early ghoul frenzy could be nice as well. It said use our, our shades before they can detect them. Ooh, mines don't work against them. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, we could use these to destroy the mines, I suppose. Let's see. Let's check down here. Again, these shades are just going to be sacrificed here pretty soon. I just want to get as much look into it. visual info as possible. I shall be your eyes. A portal. All Inactive, unfortunately. Be. I should take a closer look I'll at it. Look into it. Okay, Kel'Thuzad, go check real what quick before that we get too far in. I shall be your eyes. They weren't kidding about this pass being extremely All mined. Be okay, they're already coming to attack us. That's fine, though. We started with a good amount of stuff. Curious if they will only attack us from the main pass. The Power Stone is missing. Look, footprints going towards the forest. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to go over there. I'm not ready to do that just yet, so let's not worry about that. This looks like the main entrance. Oh! Okay, they weren't kidding that they would be able to detect us pretty darn early. Get some... <coughs> excuse me. Essence of Blight. Look, I told you I was sick. Skeletal Eridar? What? Hang on. Skeletal Eridar, these powerful burning legion spellcasters have been raised by the Lich King to replace the defecting banshees of Sylvanas. Because they could spawn tentacles and they have Finger of Pain. Interesting. Okay. Frost Nova is N. That's normal. 
Otherwise, this is all good. Still waiting for Black Citadel. Let's go ahead and throw down a Slaughterhouse. I will. And a Temple of the Damned. Mass uh, Finger of Death could be pretty darn good, that's for sure. Um, what I could do is very quickly try and... Well, let's quick save because this might be a mistake. Is come down here. And then I would like to start getting some Crypt Fiends and then Gargoyles pretty quickly. Because I do remember there being a lot of Griffins. So I probably want to fortify this area back towards our... Uh, back towards where our Lumber Harvesting is happening. So let's get one Acolyte. Let's get Ghoul Frenzy for faster um, lumber harvesting. You call on me. The dead things want to steal our shiny stone to arms my pack. Okay, Reign of Fire in the back here, please. Blast him. Okay, you'll love to see it. Portal Stone. Go ahead, Kel'Thuzad. No, that's, that's not Kel'Thuzad. I don't know why I'm having some issues clicking on Kel'Thuzad. Okay, break these wide open. Manual of Health, that's a Veramothris item for sure. And then let's plug this in and then head back to our base while we decide what we're going to do. Presumably this will... Um, this will uh, do something. This is going to... Uh, allow us to use the portal. Sorry, my brain is still recovering. It's still kind of soup. Research complete. There we go. You call on me. Okay, I'm not ready to just send something through there just yet. Let's come back to base. Yeah, we do already have web. That's nice. Ghoul Frenzy's gonna be real handy. Extra Acolyte, get up here and start repairing. We need to always leave stuff at home, and it said, like, don't leave our heroes alone. Airdar training, skeletal longevity. Um, I like the idea of the skeletal Airdar. Uh, we don't have much. We don't have much lumber, so let's just sort of chill for a second. I don't really want to make too many more ghouls. We can get one more. I also can make. Um... All right, Veramothras, you're gonna you're gonna go through and see what you can find. Okay. Wolves. We'll we'll spend we'll send our heroes out to uh, to check that stuff. I just want to see where this sends me. But yeah, um, gargoyles that, that can defend us against flyers will be really good too. Oh, hello. You have an idea. Well, there's another gold mine, plus some random. Of course. No thanks. No thanks. We'll come back. We'll come back to that. Stay out of my way. Our forces are under attack. Did they follow me? No. Okay, we're good. My Just keep looking. Okay, um, plus two. Let's go ahead and start turning these into spirit towers. And can I make some gargoyles? I think just getting a couple. I'd like to get a second crypt, too. Because that's where I'm going to be building the majority of my combat units from. Disease cloud could be nice. Uh, we're just really short on lumber right now, so uh, gargoyles really don't cost that much in terms of lumber, so I'm going to get a small group of those again, just really to kill um, flyers. I'd love to come up and scout this out too, but I'm I'm going to wait for the next enemy attack, because it doesn't seem like they're attacking us super frequently. So let's wait for the next main enemy attack, and then we're going to uh, go down through that portal and see where we end up. Getting straight up to plus three could be really handy, too. Let's keep looking. We still have this shade. Drake's. Another way gate. Another portal. Inactive. Once again, Kel'Thuzad, you should take a look at it. Um, I'm going to send a group out again. We're going to move around, move out and maybe secure this area so that we can launch an attack on whatever's up here. And then it um, seems like there's a lot of stuff to do down along the bottom. I'll look into it. Research complete. Let's see. We're getting a lot of good scouting oh, information, though. This actually might link up to the the main Let's path. See. Our town is under attack. Oh, would you look at that? What's done is done. You call on me. Okay, and they're dropping on us too. Would you? Where's uh? Where's Kel? Oh, he's right here. Okay, I was gonna say, where's Kel'Thuzad? Um, for some reason, I'm really struggling to click on Kel'Thuzad. There's something with his model that's just not really conducive. Um, get on over here and help me. I don't know why they're really focused on my ghouls specifically. I mean, you all seeing this? They really like my ghouls. 
Okay, ghouls, let's get you back up here. Gargoyles, you did a great job. I'm proud of you. Okay, let's take a, a small group and go through the portal. One thing I could do is clear this portal out, take this base, and then maybe um, just build ziggurats up there, which might intercept the, the griffins. It depends on where the griffins are coming from. Thy bidding, master. Okay, then we have wolves here, and then we have drakes over here. Right, so there's just a lot of... A lot of different things to do, so let's keep that all in mind and we'll get to it all eventually. Especially once we get up to plus two, 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 two. Just, just four. Four twos. Okay, let's do this. Okay, Kalthazad, once again. Struggling to click on him, struggling to see him. Where is he? Okay, he's behind Varamothras. Okay, you go ahead and back out. They're already attacking us again, but that's okay. Hero levels, Reign of Fire, Frost Nova. Let's send the heroes back specifically. Uh, and you know what, Veramothus grabbed this stone token. Oh, just casual siege engines in the third attack of the game. That's cool. Um, just send our heroes back for now. Let's clear this out. So we're going to need it to leave a pretty sizable army at home, I think. So just send everybody back for now. And then just start making more Crypt Fiends and start making more Gargoyles. We can use the Gargoyles to kind of scout around here. Let's see. Looks like there's a little opening over here. Let's see if maybe there's like a cave that connects to this. Maybe a... Oh, this is, this guy has to be the Easter egg. So, what was the answer? Giant dwarf. Ha ha. That's, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Bah, humans just don't get it. Okay, well, we found it. That's cool. Um... Okay, I guess just remake some ziggurats. That's fine for now. Uh, maybe make one more up there. And then we're going to repair. I would love to get Disease Cloud. And then we're waiting for plus two to finish up. We found our secret for this map. Let's maybe look around up here and see. And I know we want to send Veramathras up to grab that... Uh, Ring of protection that we can shift click him back home. He should be able to figure out how to get there. I don't see him moving. Is he stuck? No, he's going. He's going. He's doing good. Okay, so say we took this base up here. What else is up in this direction? A fountain of health. I mean, that's fine. Research complete. Okay, plus three coming up. Summon. We seem to have found Teal. Teal seems like where the Griffins are coming from. So actually, if we can... Dude, Veramothras, come on, you're smarter than this. Go here. Um, that base seems like it's. we want that to be our first target. We also want to send Kel'Thuzad all the way down here to see what that beacon is. But you know what? Right now, let's not worry about that. Let's start leveling up some Eridar, uh, Skeletal Eridars, and just keep making Crypt Fiends and then Abominations. Go advanced creature attack, because that's for our gargoyles, is it? Yes, gargoyles are creatures, that makes sense. Okay, so, Veramothras, go ahead and pick this up. I don't know if I can take this without... If the griffins are spawning from here, then in theory they're going to intercept this really easily. I could try to take it. We could wait for the next griffin attack and then try to take it. We are still in low upkeep. There's plenty of options for other bases for us to take. I have way too many ghouls. That's fine, honestly. That's fine. Now it's like I'm waiting for more... Now I'm waiting for more resources, and, uh... Now, well, resources and the next enemy attack, because now I'm just sort of chilling, and I feel like as soon as I send a guy through to take this, it's he's going to get killed by griffins. Like, it's, it's an inevitability. 
Okay, I did some shift queuing. Let's see if he's smart enough to figure it out. Yeah, he's going. Anyway, we'll see if it works. And my golden come really sucks, but that's fine for now. Getting plus three attack on my melee units will be really handy too. I'm waiting for the next main attack down the center here, and also I'm going to queue up plus three, which is pretty much all my remaining money, but I think it's worth it. If this finishes and we can set up, like, maybe three to four uh, spirit towers, I'll feel great. I also don't know if maybe Tia will attack us with ground units because we set this up as well. But that's going to be my next target. It's just we need to make sure we leave enough stuff at home. Our town is under attack. I, <laughs> I told you. Like, as soon... I wonder if they'll turn around. As soon as I set that up, <laughs> literally as soon as I set it up, they're going to react to it. What do you know? Um, yeah, gargoyles seem like the right choice. Uh, I'm going to wait for those main enemy attacks to come and hit us, and we have to kill them next. Mastery training on Eridars would be good too, but we actually need to build some Eridars. To build a new Acolyte. There are those flyers. Classic, sort of away from where my other units were. Mm, Gargoyle's really not that great if we're pulling them down. Okay, I, I just don't feel comfortable leaving because the large blue attacks, though this is my chance, I suppose we could try and set up this base. Because I really do need the extra gold. When I clicked that, I swear I had 261 gold. You could rewind the video and tell me, but I'm pretty sure I had enough at the time. I'm a little cheesed about that one. It's a little bit of a bummer that your primary lumber harvesting operation is, uh... Well, actually, I guess it's technically over here. Why did, it felt like my ghoul started up in that direction, which is where the flyers were going to come and attack us from. So I'm thinking wolves, and then we check out what this beacon is, and then we can keep moving in this direction. Yeah, this. so this links up with the actual... So this looks like the main blue base, but this is not the direction we're... Well, we could attack through here. That's an opening as well. Okay, so we have this, this group attacking us, and then we're going to have blue attack us down the main path. I, I just can't win with this. They, they don't want me to have it. We have to basically go it. We have to go and kill Teal. Which I think we have the anti-air to do it. What I'm lacking is the defense at home to follow through, uh, especially if they're sending uh, steam tanks, siege engines, whatever the heck they're called. I don't know. I'm never going to get it right. Um, I await your counsel. let's quick save and go through the portal. I'd love to get those griffins off my back because they're just annoying. So let's, let's go through here, send everybody, and then we'll build some new units to hopefully defend against blue. I'm going to build one meat wagon and send them through, and then at home we'll just build some crypt fiends to sort of chill out. We can also pull our ghouls if necessary. Once again, the second I, I leave. But I think two might be enough. Where shall my blood be spilled? Don't waste my time. My okay, so let's head up there. Mr. Acolyte, I'm still going to take this base when we can afford it. I await your counsel. Stay out of we could get up, I guess, destroy their lumber harvesting operation. I don't know, man. Yes, it's going to be fine. Let's do this. Our forces are under attack. Okay, we succeeded. But I am very, very vulnerable to blue right now. Dwarven champion. Let's get up here and kill this, please. I do have cannibalize. That's nice. Uh, no death and decay. Maybe it would have been a good idea to wait. Yeah, I can't... Oh, you know what it is? I can't box click Kel'Thuzad for some reason. This is very odd. Okay, you come on back here, please. Ooh, Bear Mothras can Doom. Oh no, he has Inferno. Cool. 
Is it just one? I think it's just one. Okay, the rest of you move on in. Did that meat wagon ever make it? It did. Very important. What is focusing down my obsidian statue? I mean, something is, but... Okay, this is on its way, and then we need units at home, like, as soon as possible. We have some defense, but it's not enough if they come with siege engines. Look, you, all you gotta do is kill that one flippin'. Yeah, there you go. Alright, focus down the Griffin Aviary. Okay, and we're in. We should have Death and Decay now, so let's move forward with KT. Find their castle. Oh, okay. Get instantly stunned. Maybe die. Not being able to box select Kel'Thuzad is honestly, com like, killer. That needs to be fixed. I, it's cool that he has a new model, but, like, I need to be able to click him. So, not a, not a big fan there. Kind of hard for me to tell what is happening. I think we're winning. Okay, Blue came through and helped their ally. We cannot easily reinforce, unfortunately. Are we, I can't click him! Ah! He's dead. He's not dead. Okay, cool. Okay, let's back all the way up to here, and let's build, I guess, production on this side. Rally through the way gates. Rally through the way gate. Get our final melee upgrade there. Oh gosh, Kalthazad, please don't die. This inferno lasts a really long time. I think it lasts the length of the uh, the cooldown, which is awesome. Okay. Well, we're gonna still we're gonna focus on this. This army still. Let's go ahead and grab another obsidian statue. We can get a few of these Eridar dudes, and we'll be able to rail. We'll be able to build like actually up in the front here. So that's a big positive. Okay. Let's go ahead and rally more acolytes so we can actually get this. All full up here. Dwarven champion. Alright, that's fine. Can I actually not box click him, just to be clear? No, I can. Huh. I don't know. Okay, I think we have enough lumber now. So we can take at least one of these dudes off lumber. It's not necessary. And then this stuff is done. So let's go ahead and start getting some... Meat wagons ready to go so we can actually destroy enemy structures when the time is right. I'm sure they're rebuilding like crazy. I honestly would be shocked if they were not rebuilding like crazy. Okay, gold me. And that stuff's coming up. Let's go ahead and send these guys through. Again, I can't tell if Blue now wants Where to attack us in, like, near this area or not. I'm actually very warm. I'm going to take my sweatshirt off. Delightful. I feel like we've made virtually zero progress. Virtually zero progress. We're going to try and get through this teal base. There's still several other bases that we have to deal with, but... I bow to your will. 
Love that. Uh, Finger of Pain is F. Oh, that does not seem very good. Um, let's bring these guys back. It's Finger of... not. It's not Finger of Death, it's Finger of Pain. Go ahead and get uh, healed, buddy. Okay, repair me. Second meat wagon coming up. Um, I, I still don't know if I have quite enough to actually push into this enemy base, but let's give it a shot. We can summon some of those tentacles. Very exciting. Uh-oh. Now, this might be good, actually. I mean, it's not great, but, like, if we can survive this... Hmm, okay, that's not really where I'd hope you would go. Let's go ahead and move down here. You guys, give me some of those those tentacles, I guess? I don't know, man. Okay, and then we'll move on up and actually try and attack this stuff. We have to get into this. You know what? Let's just take it slow and actually whittle away at this base, because it seems like by moving a little further in, that's what kind of screwed us last time, because, yeah, then this stuff starts coming in. Kel'Thuzad? Turn off Frost Armor so that we can Death and Decay with you eventually. Um, just eat this guy, because he has no mana left. And then, yeah, let's see if we can get in there and Death and Decay up here. Okay, we seem to be doing much, much, much better. I just want to kill this Griffin Aviary, and then we'll be able to move up and... Uh, Kel'Thuzad's not really taking much damage at all. And then this got repelled. So, by killing... By destroying this base... I think what we're going to want to then do is explore the bottom of the map. Go ahead and call down our Infernal. Okay, I'm reluctant to go into high upkeep. Not sure how much more I want to build here. They have a caster. I think that just has casual chain lightning, but that's okay. Okay, don't, don't just run into that. Let's just... Again, we'll steadily take care of this stuff. Give... Yeah, splat that guy. Let's move up. Clump up together. There's a lot of towers here. Okay, back up. That This cluster of towers would have been a better option for uh, Death and Decay. Okay, now let's kind of sneak up to the top here, kill the workers. Yeah, we'll get rid of all this stuff. It's just going to take some time. All right, that's all looking really good. The next thing we're gonna do is just build units to go with us as we go and kill creeps along the bottom, just because I'm curious what's down there. And, you know, it's the same same type of composition. I'm okay going into higher upkeep now. Did we just kill a sheep? I didn't choose to do that. Yo, you guys should probably attack the towers, though. And you should attack a cannon tower so that your chaos damage is most effectively used. And then you guys both go ahead and cannibalize. If we're lucky... Uh, yeah, he's going to get splatted one more attack. That's okay. Then here. Then here. Then these guys are just all doing their thing. Okay, one base down. We have made a good amount of progress. Is there another gold mine here? Yes. So I could take that if I needed it, but I don't really once this collapses we can move our guys up let's get one more acolyte at home to repair spirit touch please okay beginning of the map was real slow but we, we ended up pulling it out again my brains it's it's not in good shape okay we're doing our best this is definitely still a big grind but it's it's going fine it's going fine. So it seems like blue can attack us from this direction. 
I should use my stone token, dude. So if we set up this base, it means that that's where blue's gonna come from. Maybe? I don't know how blue got over here. Villagers. Well, we already found the Easter egg. Stay out of my way. It's sort of unclear what this stuff is. I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna walk right into the canyon where it's like gonna be a billion towers. Okay, keep keep going. Where are my meat wagons? Were they destroyed? And by what? Am I crazy? Huh. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just kind of casually moving in this direction, seeing what what, what we can find. The undead have returned. Rock chunks. So we've made it through a decent chunk of the pass by going the other way, and we've gutted this entire base. So overall, this is really good. So now, meanwhile, we have this group, some of whom I have to leave here. What I'm probably going to end up doing is let's take these folks and ra run them down here to kill those wolves, and then we'll leave other s well, this stuff once we mo destroy actually all of the production structures here. Structures here. I am going to... Um, do something. Thy bidding, master. Oh, yes, basically send these folks home to defend. Make your choice. Yes, master. Okay, and we'll bring them all back down towards the portal. Heroes are heading back. We also have transport ships, I have to keep in mind. There are transport ships, <coughs> excuse me, available. I mean, here, have some of these tentacles. A little wacky. Zap this guy. It's good against creeps, that's for sure. Okay, heroes are making their way down. It's taken some time, but we'll get through this stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what actually destroyed my... Proceed. I wonder what actually destroyed my my army. Or my, uh... You know what I'm th talking about. My, uh... Meat wagons. Uh, those blue dragons, if I had to guess, they're probably immune to magic because they... Not always, but they usually are, aren't they? So let's go ahead and rally these folks down here, get some reinforcements going before anything else. And then heroes, let's go and get that, uh, Tome on KT. So, Kalthazad, why did a human like you ally with the Lich King? Pro probing me for weaknesses, Veramathras? One can't escape its nature, but no, not this time. I'm just bored waiting for the slaughter to begin. And curious. Okay, we're gonna wait for this round of units, and then we're gonna build more stuff. Just just hang out here at home. Really? Anyway, you wouldn't understand being immortal. You mean your motive is the fear of death? I thought all humans thought their light would save them or something. Go ahead and just start getting some of these other upgrades. It's true, most humans believe in an afterlife under the light, but I'm not so deluded. Only oblivion awaits mortals after they die. Yeah, exhumed corpses is fine. Shall my blood be spilled? And the Lich King was a solution? Look at me now, an immortal lich in the right hand of the soon-to-be ruler of this world, so I would say my plan worked out pretty well. Our town is under attack. Okay, yeah, so I think this is sort of bound to happen. So we're going to retreat. Yes, Master. And bring them all the way up here instead. How will this benefit me? No more griffins, though, means they, they can't as easily just drop on us everywhere. Again, them t destroying that kind of sucks, but we have another option, and this gold mine's still going strong. Other upgrades right there. Gargoyles, let's get two more Crypt Fiends, and then we have that Abomination there. Oh, here, there's the dragons. Whoops. Um, are they immune to magic? The big one is, the small one is not, but this is why we're dragging them down. Get out of there. Alright, let's, let's, let's get this blue dragon, get him out of there. I'll be honest, that Acolyte transfer was some... Some good stuff. Let's go ahead and pick this up and then just use these these 
salves now, because otherwise they're not going to get used. Okay, so let's do this instead. It's possible that Blue will also attack through the way gate, which would make me really sad. But, you know, it's it's a possibility that we have to be prepared for. Alright, what is this? How will this benefit me? The Powering Stone is there, but it's completely discharged. We'll have to give it mana to restart it. Have an idea. Um, Obsidian Statue, Essence of something else this time, and let's get another one. And bring that down. That puts us into high upkeep, which is kind of killer, actually. I'm not going to do that. Recharge the portal with mana with the mana of your units. You call on me. Can we just do it like this? What I could do... That's quite a lot that's needed. What I could do is... Um, get skeletons. Bring meat wagons with auto-generating corpses. You know what I mean? Actually, once, once all of these units drains all of their mana, it's going to be pretty close. And I kind of want to see where the rest of this path takes us. So this takes us up to... Blue. What needs that was another pathway to blue, but there's Let's also this see. direction and along the far left. All, all options. Hello, sir? Please? There you go. It seems like there's just multiple options, which is nice. And there's still an undiscovered quest as well. I shall be your eyes. <clears throat> I'm feeling really good about this. Let's this seems see. very reasonable. Orcs. I thought all the pawns of Manoroth had gone to Kalimdor before the Legion's arrival. I think those are the remnants of the clan we attacked back in Lordaeron to contact Archimond with their portal. In any case, given their numbers, they're no threat to us. I can't get over how Kalthazad looks like he's just chewing on his drip. Indeed, but they could be useful to distract the dwarves. We need to we just need to make them attack each other. Very subtle, Varimathras. It shouldn't be too hard to fool those barbarians. Okay, please, please don't copyright strike my music, I beg of you. Um, I did get another... One of these that we're going to need if we want to finish up this. The Goblin Merchant might have something to help you convince a Dwarf to join your ranks. Oh, did we do it? Yes, we did! Um, quick save and let's see. Of course. Ah, would you look at that. I'll do what I must. Okay, so there were two completely different paths, and honestly, the right one was way easier than the left one, and it was way closer, too. So it kind of feels like... Don't waste my the left time. one is a little pointless. But actually, the, no, the left one lets you bypass the teal base. You have an idea. So in retrospect, that's not that bad. Let's go back. So this left one I don't plan on using, and hopefully blue doesn't use it to now attack us, which they could certainly do. Um, let's go ahead and attack towards that goblin merchant that we see. We'll go along the bottom with our army and then up. I feel like Blue hasn't attacked us for a while, but we have should have enough stuff to reliably push them back if necessary. Fountain of Mana's nice. Oh, oh, oh. He's fine. That Finger of Death spam is pretty cool. I guess get the circlet on KT if I could click on him. Still haven't... I mean, I, I thought that we couldn't box click him. We can box click him, but he's just... I don't know what it is. He's just... He's slippery. He's a little slippery. Okay, just turn that off and get your mana back over time. It's going to be fine. And then... It doesn't apply to our obsidian statue, unfortunately. That's fine. We're creeping the crap out of this map. We got some ogres. Got him. Zap him. Oh, uh, yeah, let's give him some rain of fire that won't hit any of them. Is that hitting any of them? It might be. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, we'll buy some trolls. We'll buy some mercenaries. That's cool. 
Cross Nova never lets me down. Legion Doomhorn is great. School of Healing is fine. Yeah, sure. Ooh, Overseer. That's Command Aura. You'll love that. Might as well build another... Um... Abomination. Getting rid of this base first was the absolute right decision. Don't waste my time. Absolute right decision. Let's move up here. We gotta kill these Wendigos. Which are surprisingly difficult to kill at times. And then we have to figure out how to get the orcs to attack the dwarves. Hello? Zap them? Wow, they killed my, my poor rock golem like immediately. I mean, I did level up uh, Reign of Fire, but hasn't really been too many great opportunities to use it. Good job, Noel Overseer. You're doing the Lord's work. Once we're finally ready to attack Blue, then we'll just build forward production so that I don't have to worry about reinforcing because it's, you know. I remember that was part of the problem that I originally had. Strength. That's Veramothras. And then... Oh, okay. I see. Um, so we just steal units with this and then have them attack. How will this benefit me? I think that's the answer. So let's go ahead and get some items here on. Don't waste my time. Right. Veramathras. And then let's see if we could just use our heroes to sort of sneak up here. Right. Is there something What's the cooldown on this? Let's. So we just want to take one of these guys and then run them away. So run him into this base. Uh, presumably this is the path we take. And once that's done, we let those two kill each other for a while. You gotta attack you gotta attack something though. Did that even count? Did that work? You have an idea. Um I didn't get a prompt that that was successful. I guess we'll take this guy now. And then I'm going to go all the way back. Oh, you know what? No, there's an easier way to do this. So all of these units I am going to send home. Like, all the way. To, it's going to take a while, but they'll get there. Because we're going to have them... Actually, no, we can go through this portal. How will this benefit me? All the way down here. And then you, Orc, we opened up a little pathway here for that you can go in and attack like a worker or something. Let's bring a shade over here, too. I don't know if there's mines in here. Hopefully not. Quick, quick save before we run over them. Okay, well, this seems good. I, I presumably need to just attack something. Go get him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're getting him. He's running. He's a coward. Did, has this worked? Use a dwarven unit... Oh, it's the opposite. <laughs> okay, well, um... Hang on. We're gonna go through with, uh... With KT here. We're gonna steal something. Steal, steal one of these guys. I wanna keep this guy really far back. Did that... So does that... I have to use the Dwarven unit to attack the orcs. Yeah, I did it opposite. That's okay, though. I don't know if we're winning this or not. It's kind of impossible to tell. I'm thinking no. And it also, unfortunately, seems like they are going through the way gate. Okay, Mr. Rune, Rune Mage, we're going to run you up into the enemy base. Actually, come on over here and get healed first. I think we won. I will kill this uh, siege engine <coughs> slash tank slash guy. Okay, good work, good work, good work. Okay. Rune Mage, get up there. Get to it. I will get another Null Overseer. Um, you know what we need? Oh, great. We need meat wagons, and then Kalthazad. So let's see if we can finally distract the uh, 
the blue... Actually, it's going to be the light blue enemies. And what's this over here? Ghouls. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't have any other upgrades to get. There's really nothing else to do besides just start trying to win. And I'm just, like, doing these extra quests for fun. Let's go, Rune Mage. I just need you to attack something. He's going to get killed by towers, I bet. Those are attackable. We just have to right-click something and hopefully hit something. Those uh, scepters seem really good. I could load up on those. Yep, okay, good. They are going to regret it. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. So I remember the orcs being a really big pain in my butt the first time I played this, but it seems like they're positioned in a place where they're way off to the upper left. <coughs> Excuse me? Where they're way off to the upper left, so now they won't really cause us as many problems. Maybe. I think. So I, it is tempting to get some acolytes to the upper left. And actually get that all saturated. Um, and then we can build our forward production up there so we can attack blue from an angle where we don't have to worry about as much stuff. Okay, let's wait for Kel'Thuzad. I shall be your eyes. Now they can I see me from there. So we're going to be attacking from this direction. Yeah, this direction. That feels like the best, the best angle. And what I'm going to do is take this. In fact, we should probably go this direction. Getting some skelly boys to help us out over time will be really nice. Okay, let's send them. Let's send our army through. My life for Nezul. And we're going to try and set this up. We're going to get a bunch of production up here, too. Can I build over here? Yeah, we're going to build down here. Okay, Kel'Thuzad's on his way back. These guys are on their way back. Ghoul's still harvesting from a million miles away. Don't waste my time. I don't know what I just killed, but it seemed, seemed important. I don't know. It, it exploded, so it was probably an expensive unit. Go through the way gates. Where shall my blood be spilled? My fate is sealed. Okay, let's get this set up. I gladly obey. I will be done. Okay, we gotta wait for that blight I to spread, to and then you guys can just harvest for now. Um... Until I can get reliable reinforcements, I don't feel great. That's the other thing. I can't I can't easily reinforce from here. I also really want to bring these units. I think if this is being set up here, blue will always attack us here. So actually I, I just quick save and let's go through the way gate and then come on up to the front. We'll get maxed out. This will help us spread some blight, but it'd be better if it was even closer to the front, which is here. What's the actual objective, by the way? Destroy the base defending the gate. Which is this. Okay. And then there's all these there's these high ground things, too. So a lot of meat wagons will be handy. Um, I don't know if Blue has a lot of flyers. They do have a griffin aviary. Is yours. I'll look into it. All shall be revealed. And we know that Light Blue is getting harassed by the orcs. Okay, cool. I could retake that gold too, but it's not necessary. Did, has this gold mine collapsed? No, that's it's been an MVP gold mine right there. Um, let's wait until our units get up to the front and then maybe actually just go. Because I feel like with a full army we should be okay. Though this was my problem the very first time I played this map, is I kept attacking the enemy base. They had a level 10 hero, and I think we were stuck at like level... Three or two or something. Obviously, here we can get up to level Don't six. It feels time. like a lot of lessons were taken from the original version here, so I'm not too What's not too concerned. I think it's all going to go fine. But obviously, waiting for this and then setting up just like a couple crypts behind it would be excellent. 
So what we can do is use our meat wagons to just start chipping away at some of this stuff. And then as this finishes, we could turn that into a Halls of the Dead as well. Summoning is just attack it once and bring them back to us. Get a bunch of Acolytes, and then we'll go Halls of the Dead. And then... Found. I don't think any enemies came and attacked us after we did that. I gladly obey. I mean, I won't really complain. So I don't have enough room for too many production structures, just one of each. We can, you know, slowly make our way further and further in, though. I mean, if they're just going to chill, then I will go ahead and keep pushing and just doing some basic attacking here. Don't go too far, though. Well, that's going to lure all my stuff. Just be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're technically on the high ground here. That's good. Okay, this is fine. Uh, one meat wagon's gonna die. Maybe. Okay, cool. That's one down. They have a hero. Call this fella in. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, this is really good. Um, steam tank siege engine. Definitely got to kill this thing. Let's go Halls of the Dead. You come on down here and repair. Just make abominations. Let's get some Skelly Boys. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of anything I'd want to do less than build units just to drop. So we're not gonna, we're not doing that. Kill this guy before he... Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, kill, kill those guys before they... Uh... The heck is that? Automated turret. That's cool. Oh, no. No, Loverseer. Oh, he's that's way too far away to reinforce. I think I think we're still good. Um, what do we want to death and decay? Maybe these high ground towers. How about like this right here? That seems like a great spot to death and decay. I don't know where he is. Oh no, he's in there. Okay, he's doing great. Okay, I think. <coughs> excuse me. We're in. Their hero is dead. Um. Gold mine's nearly empty, but we have another one that we can take. Okay, I've been building. I've been building these dudes for Skelly Boys. I don't know where my other. I, I had other ones. They're probably dead now. All right, stop death and decaying my own guys now, though. Kalthazad, you're you're killing me. Let's see. We don't need these. We just need meat wagons. Um, let's get a second slaughterhouse. More artillery seems prudent. Okay. Get box clicked. Good job. I'm intrigued by these automated turrets. They must have a unit that lets them make them. Skellies. We're flooding. We're flooding. Oh, he's back. They do have an altar somewhere. We gotta get to it there. Ooh, there's, he's got some griffins on his on his altar. Snazzy. Well, okay, he's mostly alone now, so I think he's effed. Um, yep. Just gotta really destroy these turrets. What are you doing, abomination? This cowardice. We don't, ex <laughs> we don't accept that in this. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I can see the comments now. Jay, just make sure you rest and take care of yourself. I know. I'm on the upswing, okay? I was actually sick for a long time. I'm starting to feel mostly better now. I just, you know, because we're talking a lot and because this mission takes for flipping ever. Here we are. Grab me another obsidian statue because my current one is out of mana. Oh, no. <laughs> You don't you don't gotta do that though. You don't you don't gotta attack that stuff. You just don't. This and this and this and this. It's like all I'm making now are meat wagons. This guy's still making some good progress too. 
Every cannon tower he just... I mean, we're going to have to engage him here pretty soon, though. That's that's the unfortunate part. Okay, if I want to be really diligent, let's go ahead and move these guys up here. My fate is seen. Okay, let's not let's not slack on our income. I like these skeletal Eridar. They're a pretty good uh, pretty good new unit. They have some cool spells. I like the the tentacles that you can just randomly have pop out. It's like they're useful, kind of. <laughs> the finger of death is the most powerful. I think the first time I used it, I was a little underwhelmed, but that's probably because I used it on a unit that had uh, a ton of health. I wish only to. Serve. I bow to you. Okay, up on there. I don't know. I don't think farms are necessary. Let's just focus on their main production structures here. Oh, yeah. Four me wagons. Let's go. This guy's still going crazy in here. We're going to have to kill him soon. Just kill this barracks and then let's kill the altar. And let's kill this guy. I'm just curious. Maybe he'll drop something. But he's he would have already been killed by... Uh, Oh, the finger of death can't be can't target heroes. Um, oh, please don't whirlwind me. I say he would have already been killed by some of his from by some other units. Good job, good job killing the farm. This map, I mean, again, I don't remember the original that much, other than the orcs were a big hassle because of the way that they were placed on the map, and just navigating the map was very difficult. And it still is. I would say that arguably this map is still a little too big for its own good, but I like that, <coughs> I think if you just, rather than showcasing it, because I'm showcasing it, if you were to just play it, um, and not worry about, you know, doing all the side quests and stuff, like go going all the way down here and up here, Unnecessary. I, you know, I once I destroyed Teal, I would have just established a base Where here and my based my army still? out of that spot, and that would have been it. I wouldn't have had. I wouldn't have read about the rest of the map at all. You could take six units with you. Okay, Obsidian Statue. Um, let's take two Abominations, two Eridars, and two Crypt Fiends. That's one crypt fiend, but don't Set worry about the charges. it. Wall the bridge before they get across. Okay. Well, now you guys are stuck here. That was a, a valiant effort, though, to, to be fair. Very brave of them. Be careful, the dwarves put traps. Turn off curse. Okay, and it's not over. There's more. I'll do what I must. Um. We have to come down this way, and I guess we're gonna kill. If I had to guess, it's gotta. Yeah, it's gotta be Magna, right? Maybe he'll drop that Crown of Kings. Ow! That's incredibly rude. Okay, those fire once, and then that's it. Nice job. Let's just set these off. This again. These bearded pests are starting to get on my nerves. The dwarves love their explosives, but they're getting desperate. Let's back up here. These other units can't get through. By any means necessary. Right. And move forward. I guess a meat wagon would have been good. How will this benefit me? Okay, those champions are no joke. You gotta stay back. You have an idea. Just I nuke these guys. Nuke them from orbit. There we go. Gonna move these units back, and we'll let them slowly, um, slowly recover. I think I lost one of my Eridar, unfortunately. That's okay. For every ghoul you blast. Yeah, they, they have units that seemingly, um, create those, uh... uh did the Skeletal Eridar not be- Oh, it's because he's not on healing. <laughs> I'm losing it. Moon of mana. Heal me? Okay. I was sort of dreading this mission because, again, I've been recovering from being sick and I knew this one would just take for flipping ever. And it is, uh... See, right there I couldn't box click KT. Um, it has not disappointed my expectations, which... 
by any is both good. Well, I'll say it was both good and bad. <laughs> I hoped maybe it would disappoint my expectations a little bit in that uh, in that regard. Rune of mana, I guess we'll pick up. All right. These extra units for the. Um... Oh, okay. Well, that was a, that was a real. Ow. I'll do what I must. So the green ones are good. That's handy. Necessary. Stay out of my way. Quick save. Of course. By any means necessary. Wake up. Time to die. Well, that's handy. Books. Everyone likes some books. Maybe we can death and decay behind the. Indeed. Damned undead. Slay them all. Never mind. Ne never mind. Let's just lure these away from the ones that are behind the. Oh, oh, poor Kalthazad. Okay, just move forward. I guess give him a tentacle. How do you like that? It's gonna smack you. It, oh, it's getting him all right. Look at that. Oh, it's gone. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Yeah, those dwarven. Ch Ow! Those dwarven champions are no joke. Actually, all the Dwarven units are no joke. Their spellcasters do Mondo damage, too. Lesser Resurrection. It's too bad our initial units didn't die uh, up here. Okay, cool. That wasn't terrible. Let's, um, let's do it like this. Oh, yeah. And then he gets healed, and we're being shot by a turret of- oh, it's right here, okay. Did I, like, spawn that turret on top of me, or- I wonder what units specifically are able to drop the turrets. Okay. I actually think meat wagons would have been a good choice. Probably not against the boss, but... Healing. Handy. Probably should have saved that- oh, look out. Pop it, pop it. What's this one? Okay. That and then that one's a heal. Don't Is this the end? Uh-oh. Strap in, boys. User-made boss fight. Might be great, might be terrible. We don't know until it happens. Well, what are you waiting for, you maggot-written sacks of bones? Minimal taunting, I appreciate that. Uh, quick save. We do have a doom ready to go. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Stay out of my way. We give him one of those. He gets stunned. Everybody moves in. Um, and then we, we blast him. Unable to target heroes. Never mind. We give him a tentacle, which is too far away to hit him. He is currently invulnerable. And he is now summoning a bunch of other units. So we can use Finger of Death on su literally anything. Please let me cast it, I beg of you. I, I think I'm winning, but I don't I don't actually know. He's like appearing and disappearing into other other places. I'm currently stunned. Oh, I think he holy lighted me and killed me. Does that mean I lose? No. I guess give me a rock golem. That seems pretty good. A lesser rune of resurrection. Just keep howling, buddy. I think he's almost dead. Oh, well. No, I think we lose. What's he? What's he doing? I didn't realize there were runes down here. Well. Oh no! All that's left is literally the obsidian statue. I don't think he can do it. All right. I guess do it again. I don't even know what's happening in this boss fight. I honestly cannot tell. Half my spells aren't even usable on him. So who knows? I I, I don't know. We're just we're just doing it. Can we frost nova him at least? Yeah, that works. Don't yeah, just don't stand on that initial big blast. Then we do this. I would love to use Kalthazad's spells, but it, sometimes he's box clickable and sometimes he's not. Yeah, see, that good... Okay, bye. Okay. I don't know where... See, I don't know where he's going. I'm stunned in the... I'm stunned in the thing. Okay, give me a tentacle. 
blast something, literally anything, so that you're usable. I cannot box click Kel'Thuzad. Is it like based on the room that we're in? I, I don't know. This is the only issue with like user, um, use like using custom models is like sometimes they just don't work. <laughs> or they cause a problem, you know. That's why you gotta be you gotta be kinda careful. I'm not a big fan of whatever random voice line he's spamming. Yo, we gotta get this lesser resurrection though. Okay, the turret is dead. Wait! Did I not re just resurrect a bunch of people? Now they're gone. Maybe they're not gone? No, they're here. Okay. Fair, uh, Kalthazad is dead, but who cares? It's done. Iron Forge is ours for now. Do we go back to the capital immediately? Yes, yeah, so we'll leave a garrison here led by a necromancer. It will protect Lordaeron from any attacks from Azeroth. Ah, they're drunk. Hilarious. Oh, it's because they're eating the corpses of the drunk dwarves? Is that the implication? I don't know, man. This was a long one. Goodbye.